Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a senior and I literally can't put into words what the IU Sports Media program has meant to me over the past four years. I've had so many incredible opportunities um, to learn, to grow, to fail, to succeed, um, and to become not only a better broadcaster, but also a better person. And getting a chance to work with so many of you guys, um, so many talented people, and um, it's truly just been an honor. And um, I'm so excited to see where everybody ends up. I wanna give a special thank you to Galen Clavio and to all of you guys for being so supportive, especially in the past couple of months. And um, I miss you all dearly, and I hope to see you guys on the Roy's patio very, very soon. Hey, it's Jack Grossman. Just wanted to take a second to thank everyone in the IU Sports Media community who's been so incredible to me over the last few years. It's been a phenomenal four years, and I'm really going to miss being in Bloomington. Thanks so much to the faculty, my friends, everyone I've worked with for being so fantastic during my time at IU. Thanks so much for everyone with, you know, the Double Foul Podcast, Toka and I, WIUX, IUS TV Sports, the IDS, Big Ten Soon U, Crimson Quarry, and everyone for just being so awesome, and I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Hello, IU Sports Media Seniors. This is Dr. Clavio. Well, the school year has come to a close, and I wanted to say a few words of goodbye as we wrap things up here in 2020. First of all, uh, I just want to say that I really feel badly that this is how your senior years have wrapped up. This isn't how anybody wanted it to, to finish. And, you know, unfortunately you've missed out on the best part of being a senior, which is that last couple of months, you know, seeing the, the days wind down, being able to cover your last game or write about your last event or do your last broadcast. And I just, uh, really from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry that it's ended up finishing like this. There's not a lot any of us could have done about it. And I really am proud of how you've all conducted yourselves during these last couple of months. Hey guys, it's Kate Porter. Um, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to IU and especially everyone in the sports media program. Um, I don't think I can put into words how much I've appreciated and loved my last four years at IU and all the people I got to meet and the people I got to work with. Um, I'm especially thankful for the opportunities and resources that were provided to me. I feel very prepared to go out into the real world and just a little bit. Um, go Hoosiers forever. Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for what was an incredible four years as part of the sports media program at Indiana University. All of the fun experiences, whether it's at WIOX, IOS TV, or the IDS, none of it's possible, none of it feels the same without meeting you guys, sharing experiences, getting to hang out, um, just becoming friends and having a community of people to lean on and go through the best of times and the worst of times with. I owe everything in my college experience and everything in my personal professional life right now to going to Indiana and running into you guys in Franklin Hall each day. So thanks so much for what was an amazing time in my life and uh, take care and I hope to see you guys soon. What's up everybody, Dylan Wallace here. Uh, it sucks that we're not on Indiana's campus kind of getting ready for the end of the semester all together, but you know, hope everybody's doing well. Um, special thanks to everybody in the IU Sports Media field. A huge thank you to Galen Clavio and Ruth Whitmer at the IDS for the opportunity they've given me over the four years. Alex Bozer's inside the hall this past year was awesome. Um, Craig Furman for being the best professor I've ever had in my time in Indiana. Um, and then to the students, um, you know, my fellow IU seniors, you guys are awesome. You pushed us, you pushed me and others to be better every day. Um, you know, we were, we were great. We, we produced some great content over the years. And then to the other classmen, you know, keep carrying the torch for us. Keep producing, you know, the best student content there is out there. Um, keep making IU Sports Media program um, as good as it is right now. Um, but yeah, you know, you guys will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, I'll never forget the four years I had here. It was awesome. And, uh, you know, just, just keep grinding, keep going, and uh, love you guys. See ya. It was an absolute pleasure to get to work so closely with both Cam and Dylan uh, this ba past basketball season. Both guys, you know, always brought something different to the table. Uh, pitching new story ideas, thinking outside the box, thinking, you know, of different things that, that maybe others weren't thinking about. And uh, they always worked hard. Uh, just two really good guys to be around, uh, to laugh with and have fun with. And I know both of them have outstanding futures ahead of them. So 
I uh, wish them the best of luck and uh, proud of, of the work that they did. Hey, this is Michael Telka here. I just wanted to say thank you to the IU Sports Media Program for these past four years and taking in a kid from Bettendorf, Iowa, who was in over his head heading into Bloomington and, and going to school five and a half hours away for taking me in and letting me a part, be a part of such a special family of students, alumni, professors, and all sorts of things going on in Bloomington. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Shout out to the B6 gang. Shout out to IUS TV Sports. Shout out to IU Football. And thank you everybody so much for making my four years in Bloomington incredible and for years to come as an alumni. Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Go IU. Hi, congratulations class of 2020. I just really wanted to thank you guys for all of your help um, and you've taught me so much, so thanks. There are so many different people who I'd like to thank for making my time in the media school so special and memorable. First of all, I'd like to thank all my professors. I didn't have a single bad professor in the media school. They were all so great and so willing to help out any way they can. And more specifically, I would like to thank Alan Clavio and Kenny Smith for always offering their help and assistance and advice in any way they can. I appreciate you guys so, so much, and I really can't thank you enough for all you have done to help me and every other media student who you've helped. And I'd also like to thank all of my fellow media students, my sports media fam who, you know, we came in freshman year as strangers, and then through working together at IUS TV Sports or BTN or just having classes together, we became friends, and now I feel like we're family. So thank you guys all so much for making my time in the media school so special, and I will miss you all so, 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 so much. Mwah. Good luck, everybody. We can do this. I want to give a shout out to Sam Niederman and let you know, Sam, how much you mean to our program. As I sit here above Andy Moore Field, I look over my shoulder and I can remember a lot of great memories and moments that you called. Uh, and, you know, as we flash forward, I know there's a lot of moments and memories uh, that were halted or canceled or postponed. Uh, the thing that I will encourage you or tell you uh, are the things that have not been paused or have not been canceled or can't be shut down. And that is your passion and your zest for life. Uh, I just wanna thank you uh, on behalf of our entire softball family. Uh, just all that you gave uh, to our fans, to our families and to our student athletes. So I thank you uh, for not only being good at what you do, uh, but I thank you for having a cheerful heart I thank you uh, for just investing in the lives of our program. And I'll leave you with your advice uh, that you that I learned from you uh, on a podcast that uh, we had done together maybe just a little over a month ago. And that was go first. I trust that in life, that even though the times are uncertain ahead, that you will go first, uh, whether it's making the first call, uh, whether it's picking up the phone or sending the first text. And it's that attitude and it's that commitment in life that's going to carry you. So congratulations, Sam, in graduating from Indiana University, one of the best institutions in all of the land. We thank you for all that you've done. We wish you the best and know that you're always a part of the Hoosier softball family. Go IU! Hey, it's Brandon Schaff recording from my home in Chicago, just one week away from my last day as a student at Indiana University. My senior year is almost done and it has been one heck of a ride over these past three years in the media school as a part of the sports media program and I could not be more happy with all of the opportunities and experience that I have gained here as a part of the program. Thank you so much to Dr. Clavio and everyone who gave me every single opportunity that I had to prove myself and to prepare me for this industry which I cannot wait to be a part of. Thank you and go Hoosiers! Hi, I'm Ali Demas. I want to thank IU Athletics, the Cuban Center employees, interns, specifically the social team for an amazing past two years here. Hey guys, it's Lexi Oser here. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to the IU Sports Media Program. Say thank you for everything you've done for me over the past four years. I've loved my time here at IU and I've had a blast meeting people, networking, and really getting to work hands-on and all the things that I love. Thanks so much and go IU. Hey everyone, Stefan here. I hope you're all doing well. It was about this time last year, towards the end of the school year, where a lot of the sports media crew had been had gone out to celebrate, um, you know, the end of the school year on Kirkwood. And I obviously was not 21 at the time, so I kind of stayed behind with the 18 and older crew, going where we could go. And uh, and I thought I wasn't going to see, you know, they were juniors at the time, they're seniors, and I wasn't going to see most of those people probably for the rest of the night because you know they were going to go out and do their thing. And they actually ended up coming back early, hanging out with me, making sure I didn't feel left out, which kind of sounds cheesy, but in a very indirect way, made me feel welcome and, and part of a 
part of a cool group, group of people. And I think that was Jack Grossman, Michael Tilka, Mary Kate Hamilton, Dylan Wallace, Cameron Drummond. So you guys probably didn't realize it at the time, but it made me feel very welcomed. And you know, it's sad that your guys' senior year got cut short, but thank you for all you did for me, the media school and Indiana University. You'll be remembered for a long time. I wanted to say thank you for all of the hard work that you've been put in over the course of the last four years or five years in being a part of IU Sports Media, being a part of the media school for you in many cases, and, and just being students here at Indiana University. Now, there's a proud tradition of people doing tremendous work as sports media members while being students at Indiana University. And most of you I talked to when you were freshmen or, or sophomores about you know, being able to carry on that tradition in one form or another, uh, finding a niche, figuring out a way to leave your mark on Indiana University and, and IU Sports Media in particular, and I think you've all done that. So, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all that you've done. I'm looking forward to forming a new relationship with you as a former professor. Uh, don't ever hesitate to contact me. Don't ever hesitate to ask me to help you out if you need it. Ask me for advice about what you should do next. Uh, ask you to uh, ask me to give you some feedback on your reel or your clip file or what this job sounds like or what you should do for this interview. That's a relationship that I have with a lot of our former students who are now alums working in the field. And, and frankly, a lot of people that don't work in the field anymore, uh, I've enjoyed maintaining that relationship with them as well. So you'll always have a home here at Indiana University. You'll always have a family here at Indiana University. Thanks for everything. All my best. Take care.